Active Campaign loves integrations so much, we've built out some of our own. Our deep data integrations currently include connections with Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, and Square. These e-commerce integrations bring even more actionable data and information into your Active Campaign account. Let's talk through what makes Deep Data special, and then we'll jump into the platform and see how it works. Deep Data integrations offer both historical and real-time data sync. Syncing your historical data allows you to create actionable marketing plans based on past purchases. You'll market differently to a customer, so using this data will help you organize, tag, and create unique marketing paths. You can ask for a product review or encourage a repeat purchase. Historical data will help you make the right choices for your customers. Additionally, real-time data syncs allow for you to react quickly via automations. New customer orders are added as they come in and live in both your e-commerce platform and active campaign. Deep data syncs pull more data than a basic integration, provide data-specific structure, and empower you to act on crucial data. In addition to pulling in more robust data, ActiveCampaign enables you to use pre-built automations to act at important moments. The most impactful of those automations? Abandoned cart. More than 75% of customers abandon their online shopping carts. That's a lot of potential revenue left on the table. And when shoppers receive a reminder about their cart, more than 10% of those customers complete their purchase. The Automation Builder also includes deep data start triggers for makes a purchase and abandons cart. Starting an automation with these special triggers will help create dedicated paths for your e-commerce customers. We'll jump into the platform in a few and show you some of these pre-built automations, known as recipes, available in the Automation Builder. One of the most powerful parts of deep data integrations is additional segmentation power. There are so many segmentation options available. Check out this list. As you can see, there are many, many pieces of data you can use to segment, create if-else conditions, create goals, set up split tests, and more. Now let's take a look at a deep data integration in ActiveCampaign. As always, we'll start at the home screen. From there, let's click on Settings. Look for the Integration section and click. As you can see, we don't have any deep data integrations in our account yet, but let's change that. Click on Add Integration in the upper right. Now you'll see a modal that includes all of our deep data integrations. Be sure you have your login information for your other platform available. We're going to integrate a Shopify store. Click on Shopify. This modal asks you for your Shopify store URL. We'll enter our shop here. Click Connect. Clicking Connect will open a new window to your e-commerce store. If you aren't logged in, you will be asked to log in to your account. First, enter your email. Click Next. Now we'll enter our password. Click Login. Shopify is now asking to confirm this connection. This step will look different for all of our deep data integrations since it is specific to their software, but check that everything looks good and confirm your connection. Now you'll head back to your Active Campaign tab and you'll see your connection is complete. You'll have the option to add another deep data integration or close out of this modal. We'll click Done. Now you'll see your active deep data integration. To edit or remove this connection, simply click on the integration. Let's click on Manage to check out our options. How long should Active Campaign wait after a contact abandons a cart before triggering abandoned cart automations? As you can see, the default recommended selection is one hour, but we can click on this drop down to change that timing. The next setting is for your historical sync. If you've just connected your store, as we have, 
and would like to send all of your Shopify data to ActiveCampaign, click this button to push the data. Let's click Save to close out of the modal. Back on the Deep Data Integration home screen, you'll also see the ability to disconnect your sync. Click Disconnect to remove your Shopify connection. A modal will pop up asking you to confirm. We don't actually want to disconnect our store, so we'll click Cancel. Completing this integration unlocks new segmentation options, so let's head over to Contacts and take a peek at the Segment Builder. Let's click on Search, and then select Advanced Search to open the Segment Builder. Click on Conditions. Now you'll see a section for e-commerce. This drop-down menu displays all of the information you can use from your e-commerce store in ActiveCampaign. You can create segments, automations, and more using all of this data. There is one last deep data integration that most every business can use, the Facebook Custom Audiences integration. This integration allows for you to connect multiple Facebook ad accounts to your active campaign account. Once you connect a Facebook ads account, you can use automation actions to add or remove contacts from a Facebook custom audience. You can also use segment conditions to view contacts within ActiveCampaign who were added to or removed from a Facebook custom audience using those automation actions. This enables you to target your Facebook ad spend on known contacts. Facebook ads can get expensive quickly, so creating campaigns that focus on people who have already engaged with your brand will return better results. Let's jump into the platform again to see how this works. From the home screen, we'll click on Settings again. Then we'll head back to Integrations. There's our Shopify integration. Let's add Facebook. Click Add Integration. Now select Facebook. This will open a new tab with the Facebook login screen. Enter your information. A Facebook modal will pop up asking you to confirm your connection to ActiveCampaign. If this is indeed the correct account, click Continue. On the next screen, click OK. Now in your Active Campaign tab, a modal will ask you which Facebook Ads account you want to use. Click on the dropdown to select your account. Click Finish. A modal will pop up showing your connection is successful. Click Done to close out of this screen. Now we see both our Shopify and Facebook integrations. Let's check out the settings for Facebook. Click on your integration. Click Manage. You'll see that the sync is automatically on. You can toggle this on and off if you need to. Also, you can push a new sync of your data. You can see our information has already automatically synced. Let's close out of this modal by clicking Cancel. Let's check out our Facebook Custom Audiences options in the Segment Builder. Click on Contacts. Then, click on Search and Advanced Search. In the Conditions block, select Actions. Now when we scroll through our options, we'll find these at the bottom. Is in Facebook Custom Audience and is not in Facebook Custom Audience. With this segmentation power, you can create automations that help power successful Facebook ads. Our e-commerce and Facebook deep data integrations are now synced and ready to go. Time to be creative and build something meaningful to target those contacts.